Hi, my name is Caroline and today I am presenting 3D printed name badges. Now, why do we need 3D printed name badges? Well, now that the pandemic is over, I'm out there networking professionally. I'm going to all these networking events and they give me these terrible paper sticky name tags and I've got to write my name and they end up just falling off. What I have done instead is I have made these lovely magnetic name badges that I 3D print and I don't have to use pins and they look much better and they look very professional and I go to networking events and I'm wearing my 3D printed name badge. And in this video, I'll show you how I made it start to finish and all the products I used. And this is a super easy tutorial if you have a Bamboo Labs printer with an AMS. Now let's get started. To show you how this works, here is my name tag and it's got a magnetic backing and then I can attach it to my clothing. I bought a pack of 10 or 12. They came like this of the magnetic backing. Using my caliper tool, I measured how wide, it's about 45 millimeters and how tall my magnets were, 13 ish millimeters and the exact measurements aren't important. I just wanted to make sure that I would be able to make a name tag that is larger than 13 by 45. To create my STL file or my 3D print file for this name tag I'm going to use, I'm going to use something called Tinkercad, tinkercad.com. You can create an account for free. What I'm showing you today is a free account and then you want to hit create create new, I'm going to create new, I'm going to create a 3D design. And I'm just going to start from scratch here. So now I am just going to put down a square box. I just want to be larger than my magnet. I'm just going to start with 70 millimeters by let's say 40 millimeters and then the thickness of my name tag. I think I just want to have two millimeters thickness on the name tag. Maybe I'll just reduce this down to 30 for my height and that's just a good starting point for the name tag. In Tinkercad there is a choice of a radius. I like this. This makes the round so it's not such a sharp edge. I'm going to set my radius to the number one and then, so that's really nice. I like that. And then the steps are defaulting to 10. I want to make this the most smooth file I can. So I'm going to max out the steps to 20 here. And that's just personal preference. You don't have to do this, but I do like the nice rounded edges. Right. From here, we've got the base of our name tag. Now we're going to drag and drop in the text. So I've got text here. Uh, let's see what text would I like. I'm going to put my name. It's way too big. So I'm going to hit the shift key as I make this a uh, bit smaller. And also for multi-language, I also want to choose the font. There are four different fonts you can choose from. I like sans mono. That's just personal preference. And I am going to see how that fits right here. So I like how it fits and I want to set the, the height to 2.5 millimeters. The name tag itself is two millimeters and I'm going to set the height of my name to 2.5. I just want it raised just slightly. Now there are different methods. It's really personal preference. So I'm going to do my first name and my last name. I'm going to click on my name. I'm going to hit duplicate and then I'm going to put another one and I'm just going to change that to my last name and that's how you can have to move my name onto the name tag itself and then I'm just going to go through and center everything. Now we're just going to select everything and I'm going to group everything so it's just one big file. I also want to rename my file and now to export this file out of Tinkercad I'm going to hit export and I'm going to choose STL. Now I'm going to load the filament into the AMS. I already have from a previous print my white PLA in slot number two. I am going to put my black PLA in slot number three. So it really doesn't matter which one you have where, just you just need to put that in and then it goes into the AMS and it's loading it in. Now I'm in my Bamboo Studio app and I have my white PLA in slot number two and you just saw me load the black PLA. So I'm going to change it to generic PLA and I'm going to change the color to black. Now I have this loaded in my slot number three on my AMS. Excellent. So now I'm going to go over to prepare and I'm going to pull over that name tag you just saw me create. 
it defaults to the color that's in slot number one. I have blue in slot number one. Now first I'm gonna hit resync. So I've hit this little button here and that way it knows that I have black PLA in slot number three. Now I've got my item here. I'm gonna click objects. I'm gonna change this to number two and that will make it white. So now my name tag is white and then I'm gonna just change the layers so that my name is printed in black. To do that, click on the item. I'm gonna hit color painting and I'm gonna hit height range. I'm gonna zoom in a bit here and I'm gonna click black because I want this to be black and now I am gonna change the height to be black. Now this thing is only two millimeters or two and a half millimeters. I'm just clicking just to get it to black. I'm gonna hit return and that will take me back to the plate. And now this is kind of what my name tag is gonna look like. Now I'm gonna hit slice plate and it's gonna tell me it's gonna take 18 minutes and 22 seconds. Now global, I have it set to 0.2. You can set it to like a high quality, hit slice plate. So that makes it really nice. These little dots you see here, don't worry about those. Those are the seams. I'm just gonna unclick the seams. Now, if you make your name tags too small or the names or you try to fit in too many letters, you will see some degradation, like you might not see your full name on here. You do need to worry about that. If, if like a letter is missing or something, you do need to, when you get to the preview state and you have done your, your slicing, if it looks really bad, it probably is gonna look really bad when you print it out. But this looks actually really good. So I'm gonna go with this and all you have to do is hit print plate. Okay, I've got slot number two, the white. Slot number three, the black, it should take 21 minutes, 17 seconds, and all I have to do is hit send, and it's gonna print it out. And here's one of the name tags I just printed for Dale. And all I'm gonna do is uh, take the magnetic backing, pull off the adhesive strip, and then all I have to do is put it on the back of his little name badge here, like so. And I'm just gonna press down and that's it. So that is the Dale name tag. Now I'd like to show you how to create one with a logo. I'm gonna hit create 3D design, start over again. I'm just gonna start from scratch, drag out a box here, make the height two millimeters, 35, millimeters tall by let's say 60 millimeters wide. And I'm gonna do the same radius thing, one and then steps 20. Then you get those nice rounded corners. Now I'm gonna go over and drag in a file, a logo file. Now you're probably asking, um, I'm gonna hit import. I'm gonna import a logo and I'm gonna drag in this logo. I'm gonna hit import and I'm gonna add a logo to it. So here is a logo of my friend, Tina, and she has the balance running. Now, you're probably under, wondering, hey, how did I get it into a file? Because to import, you have to have it in STL, OBJ, or SVG. You can get the vector file, the SVG file. If not, you can convert, preferably you get a PNG file, and then you convert to SVG using, this is free, convertio.co, and I'll link to it below if you need to convert the file. It does convert with various levels of accuracy. So sometimes you convert a file and it comes out not looking anything like the logo. Just big disclaimer here. This works sometimes, not all of the time. Here is the logo and I'm gonna hit shift as I make it smaller and I'm trying to get it to a good size for this name tag. I also wanna make sure that it's the right height. So I like my stuff, my stuff at two and a half millimeters. Hit enter, I'm gonna drag over my text and I'm gonna change it to the name. And this is gonna be for Dale. Once again, I can change the font. I like sans mono, that's just my personal preference. And I'm gonna resize, I'm, a, I'm hitting the shift key as I resize his name. And I wanna make sure that the height is 2.5 millimeters. Dale works out on here, and then the balance running, so. And of course, this is all personal preference. I like to center everything. Select all, I'm gonna hit this alignment tool, center everything, make sure everything's selected, and I'm gonna group it together. Now I'm gonna export it, and I'm gonna export as an STL file.
And that is the entire project. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.